Sibling rivalry is the worst kind of rivalry. And in the hatchback segment, the rivalry between the Alto K10 and Solario is quite interesting. Both cars work on the same revolutionary technology. The price difference is almost a lakh. So which one should you choose? Realizing the potential in automatic offerings, Maruti jumped onto the bandwagon where they debuted their revolutionary MT gearbox with the launch of the Celerio. This gearbox was later introduced in the Alto K10. Even though fundamentally there is no difference between the two, there are a lot of factors that need to be kept in mind. In terms of exterior design, both the cars bear certain resemblance to each other. None of them are exceptionally good looking, but there's nothing on them that you can hate either. Now the Celerio boasts of what Maruti calls the curve-in, curve-out styling. There's a character line that starts from the front wheel arch and blends into the tail lamps. The front gets large rectangular headlamps. The Alto K10, borrowing much from the Alto 800, retains the same wavefront design. There's a defining crease under the window line, the headlamps are angular and swept back and the wheel arches are slightly flared. Both the cars get a well-sculpted rear with broad bumpers. The Celerio gets a distinct line that cuts across the boot door and neatly incorporated tail lamps. The Alto K10 gets angular lines on the boot door and jewel design tail lamps. Moving into the cabin, the Celerio gets impressive interiors with black and beige combination and cleanly flowing lines on the dash. The Alto K10 also gets interiors in the same dual tone combination and a neatly sculpted dash. Both the cars have ample space for knickknacks and cup holders. Both of them get usual music functions like USB connectivity, auxin radio and CD. The Celerio, however, also gets Bluetooth connectivity. In terms of space and seating, the rear seat of the Celerio can easily accommodate three passengers and has an ample amount of headroom as well as legroom. So long travels with your family in tow should not be a problem in the Celerio. The rear seat of the Alto K10, however, can get crowded with three passengers. The boot capacity of the Celerio stands at 235 litres and towers over that of the Alto K10 that stands at 177 litres. As far as safety goes, the Alto K10 does not get any airbags, while the Celerio gets a driver's side airbag. At the heart, both cars get the same 1.0-litre or 998cc K10B engine. The Celerio comes with a petrol and diesel manual transmission as well as an AMT offering and the Alto K10 only comes with petrol manual and AMT option. Since we're talking of convenience in this comparison, we'll consider only the AMTs. Now both cars have a maximum power output of 68 PS and a peak torque at 90 Nm. Essentially, both cars are very similar to each other on the road. They're easy to drive around in the city, they're efficient and responsive even in congested traffic situations. And handle broken roads and undulations with comfort too. However, being lighter and shorter and narrower than the Celerio, the Alto K10 enjoys the advantage of being swifter and a lot more fun to drive at higher speed too. While the Celerio gives you 20.87 km to a litre in the petrol AMT, the Alto promises 24.07 km to a litre. The prices of the base variants of both cars differ by about 70,000 rupees and the top variants by about almost a lakh, with the Celerio costing more in both cases. But before you make a choice, here's a quick look at what you will get in the Celerio as against the Alto. So which car is better? Well, Maruti Suzuki is accommodating different sets of customers with both these cars, especially where the pricing is concerned. 
If what you need is an automated transmission for a daily point A to point B commute, then the Alto K10 is a very good option, especially if the price difference between the two is something you don't want to shell out. But if you're looking for a car that has a slightly more premium feel to itself, can ferry your family around with comfort, we'd say Celerio is definitely a better buy. Do subscribe to the Car Dekho YouTube channel for all automotive updates and latest launches.